Good morning, Coach Slack here once again, continuing our readings on the Synaxarian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this, the eighth day of April, we commemorate our Holy Father, Celestine, Pope of Rome. A native of Rome, Blessed Celestine was for some time a disciple of St. Ambrose in Milan, and he also enjoyed friendly relations with St. Augustine. Distinguished for his virtues, he was elected Pope of Rome in 422. During the ten years of his troubled episcopate, he had to battle principally for the defense of the true faith. He intervened with vigor to oppose Pelagianism, which was spreading in several local churches in the West, and he sent St. Palladius to England, then St. Hermanus of Acher, accompanied by St. Lupus of Tauros. He also showed great solicitude for the maintenance of of orthodoxy and ecclesiastical discipline in regard to the churches of Vienna, Narvon, Calabria, and Illyria. Informed by St. Cyril of Alexandria about the Nestorian heresy, Celestine had it condemned by a local council gathered in Rome in 430, and when the Holy Ecumenical Council of Ephesus took place the following year, he sent three legates to witness to the Roman Church's adhesion to the doctrine of the Archbishop of Alexandria concerning the unique person of Christ. After the excommunication of the heretic, he addressed a letter to Emperor Theodosius II, to Patriarch Maximian, and to the people of Constantinople, informing them of his joy at the triumph of the truth. He entered into rest and peace in 432 and was buried in a basilica that was decorated with frescoes, evoking the Third Ecumenical Council. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.